Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh. Shalom, to the 144,000 and the uh, rest of the elect out there, wherever you may be. Um, shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video. It's not going to be too long. And many false prophets shall rise and show and shall deceive many. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. This is from Matthew chapter 24, verse 11. So what does that mean? And, and many false prophets shall arise, shall rise and, this, and shall deceive many. We're in the time of the true prophets being here on the earth. We claim that we are the true prophets of the Most High. You know, it all started with one West, started with Abba, a true prophet of the Most High, which he's um, Elijah coming back because uh, the scriptures say Elijah is going to come back. So Abba would have to fit him to a T. Then you had the heads over us that we came up up under that they call the seven. Really, it started with three, Masha, Arya, and Yaikwab. And then you had men come in, fall out, men come in, fall out. Then it was a point where there was seven. Because I remember men that were in this thing before the seven was even formed. And a lot of them fell out for various reasons. And it remained... Mm, the 80s, early to mid 80s, that there was there was seven. So basically, they were thinking about there's got to be a seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So another five, because to complete this circle would be really twelve. So really, the seven was really man-made. But um, we, myself, and uh, certain other men, not too many of them that uh, in this thing, you know, you got myself, which I'm my, myself, Barack from the HODC, uh, General Johanna from uh, the ISUPK. Uh, who else? Oh, you have others. You have uh, Hash, uh, Hashar, you have uh, uh, Zabak, or Priest Zabak, whatever his title is. Um, you have a few more out there. You have, uh, and then you have, uh, you know, individuals like uh, Bishop Nathaniel, which came in after me, years after me. I came in in the mid '80s, '85 to be exact. He came in. I, I believe it was either '90 90 or '92, so it was the early '90s. Uh, Apostle Gabar had came come in around, uh, pretty much around the same time as. Uh, the Bishop Nathaniel, Nathaniel, maybe a little before that, maybe a year after or something like that. Then Ricard came in. So I mentioned uh, Priest Bun, um, Priest Bunloy and Priest Daniela also came in in the in the uh, I would say the ninety. 93-ish, maybe, 92, 93. Because that's what that's after Lahab had left. So there's no more seven. It was really six. Then you had the, the split. So, you know, there's a um, spiritual generation there. You have Abba. You have the three. Then you had the seven. Then you have our group. So Abba's first generation the three, then the seven. The three represent the second generation. The seven represent the third generation. We represent the fourth generation. And this thing really opened up when we started going on YouTube. So there's a lot of different groups out there that were not a part of the original. They None of them knew or met. Matter of fact, none of them was, a lot of them wasn't even born. When I was going to the school, when what the one with school was up, a lot of y'all wasn't even born. 
so none of y'all can say y'all have first hand knowledge of uh the three or the seven or you actually taught classes at uh, one west and you had the splits and everything but you two really opened this thing up so now you got guys that said oh i like gms let me get with gms their camp in dallas was their camp over here then they get they call up a brother and they get with the camp you know no matter where they at around the country around the world mostly in in this country because a great deliverance going to come out of this country uh so you had brothers come in the right way and learn the, the scriptures the right way but in recent years as years go by you had guys that didn't come in the right way they didn't they didn't come in under gms they didn't come in under isubk they didn't come in under uh the uh, iuic they didn't come in under um hodc they didn't come in under uh alliance of israel or aoc or i'm just me mentioning the major groups that was back there that the leaders of these groups actually knew Arya, Masha, Yaqwa, they knew us. See, we know General Yohanna, we know uh, uh, Bishop Nathaniel, 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 Bishop Nathaniel came up under me. You know, all right? Although he's not going to tell you that. Okay, Gabar, Apostle Gabar came up under myself and yeah, Connecticut. Um, so, you know, we're on this thing open. This thing would have never, look, you would have never had all these different groups out there just teaching all over the place, different areas of the country and around the world if there was never YouTube. If we never, if none of us ever got on YouTube, you'd be doing what, what you know, whether you going to school, going to college, purse, purse snatcher, you know, the next hip hop, Jake, whatever the hell you were going to do, you know, that people are to your surrounding, you did the things that, that you grew up in the environment, you became a part of the environment. Okay, you're a part of the environment. You, in the environment, they sell drugs, you might become a drug dealer. You know, you might be living a place where there's a college. Um, and you might want to go to, you know what I'm saying? So if if we never got on YouTube, you, you never have all these different groups out there. And they just, they just come in, they just they get a sign, get some fringes. Um, They learn a handful of scriptures by watching various videos, which, whether they watch GMS or whether they watch IUIC or whether they watch Sakari. Sakari actually stem from GMS. Then you have... Uh, Camps that stem from uh, um, IUIC. I haven't heard of any uh, break, any splits from uh, ISUBK, which is General Yahana. Then you got the guys that watch the videos. They're not part of any group. They just kind of watch video from Sakari, watch videos from GMS, watch video from ISUBK, you know, IUIC and so forth. And they put it in a box, mix it up, and they come up with their own group. So sometimes they'll, t they'll teach things that GMS teach, but then they'll teach other things based upon what the other groups teach, like the Mark of the Beast. You got a lot of uh, the camps that uh, you know teach about the 12 tribe sign. You'll get the 12 tribe sign out. Some of them don't believe they do. the 12 tribes are all black, negroid, them Latin tribes ain't the tribes, you know. Fopi, he, they came, they they broke off from uh, HODC. So you might have a a group that that uh, teaches about the twelve tribes sign. Revelation twelve means this, and Daniel seven means that. But the but the M O T B or the mark of the beast is a philosophy. It's because they got it either from IUIC or some other camp. So you see elements of different camps that they, you know, that they cherry picked 
Cherry picked a little from GMS. Cherry picked a lot from IUIC. Cherry picked a little more from this group. And they kind of make their own group together. And, um, you know, there's only one one group that has 100% truth. <laughs> and um, IUIC can't say that because they teach that the MOTB is a sin, and sin in, in all of its forms, whether it be meaning you sinning. You, when you sin, that's the MOTB in all of its forms, whether it be religious or political. Now you go back mm, 2016, 2014, going back and forth with them. They said it had nothing to do with people. We're talking about corporations and uh, countries. Um, metal not with them that are given the change. I always bring that up. So they're clearly wrong on that because they changed it up. So what is it? Is it countries and companies or is it actual people? 17 verse, Revelation 13, 17 says it's men, any man that has the mark. So we know, so they had to change that. They said, oh, you got to change it. That's showing you that you never had in the, in the beginning. And you still don't got it. So these other people that come on the scene and they make their own camp, camp they might pick that from your camp, the MOTB. So the bottom line is this. If you ain't teaching the hundred percent truth, then you're a false prophet. If you got everything right, and you say Edomites can make it because your grandmother on your mother's side is Edomite, you know, you got an Edomite, your Edomite on, Edomite grandmother. Your thing is, well, I, my grandmother, I really love my grandmother. She took care of me. My mom, my parents were like absent, absentee parents. And my grandmother was my real mother, but she was an Edomite. So guess what you're going to do? You want your grandmother to come into the kingdom so all Edomites have a chance to make it. If you teach that, then you're a false prophet. I'll give you an example. So anybody that's teaching, they're both different than what we teach it. And then it's a matter of time because you can say, well, it hasn't come yet. So how do you know you're right? Okay, we can go with that. But when it comes, what are you going to do? It's going to be a major scramble. It's going to be a major shakeup. This is going to this is going to prove who's really down for this truth and who's really not down for this truth. Cuz some of us are going to be thrown in the prisons and some of us are going to be, you know, killed for the testimony of Yahweh Shai for not taking the karagma then you're going to know that it is the Karagma. And that's when you're going, whether you're going to be a, go back to being a Christian, you know, it's going to be a major test. So, anyway, I went to uh, the uh, commentary. So I went to Cambridge and this is what they say. False prophets, right? At the siege of Jerusalem, false prophets uh, sub suborned by the zealot. Now you had a zealot. You got the Sakari. The Sakari broke off from the zealots. Kept the people in a state of feverish excitement, as though the the appointed deliverer, which is the Messiah, would still appear. This is in Milman's History of the Jews. And um, I mean, you can go look that up. It was that page 371. So, I mean, if you want to go out and get the book, look it up, see if, see if it's on the web, on a uh, PDF file or whatever. So what the Cambridge is saying is that it's talk the fulfillment of that is them zealots and them uh, sakari, you know, getting people shook shook up. Because Paul said that in the Second Thessalonians two, you can start from the first verse. He speaks about you know the time 
in not so many words that there must be a falling away first, that the Lord is not going to come. So let's go to Ellicott. Many false prophets shall rise. The latter writings of the New Testament bear repeated testimony to this feature of the 10 years that preceded the destruction of uh, Jerusalem. So what's 10 years preceding uh, the uh, the 70 AD, that's around 60. So you had Israelites that became Christians that they all said in their minds that um, the Lord's coming in my lifetime. That's why the, the Apostle Paul said what he said. There must be a falling away first, meaning it ain't, the Lord ain't coming yet. So this is what we, this is what the scripture means by many false prophets. Because they say, and this is going to happen. The Lord's coming back. You got to keep fighting. So you had a fraction, factions of different groups, breakoffs. But like I said, the Sakari was a breakoff from the Zealots. And believe it or not, the head of the Sakari was a man by the name of Alazar. Now, could that be him in the reincarnation? Could be. Because <laughs> The Zealots and the Sakari, the Sakari like they they raise, they like to raise hell. This feature the ten years that preceded the destruction of Jerusalem. Saint John uh, speaks of false prophets. First uh, John four verse one, right? It says, "Try the spirits and many." Antichrist with an S. That's uh first John 2, verse 18. Little children, little children is the last time. Saint Peter, Saint Peter of false prophets, second, second Peter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even even as there shall be false prophets among you. And this is bring, being brought up to date. You got all these different breakoff groups that's coming their own way. If, like I said, if they're not, if a perfect example again, if you got a particular group like GOCC, they teach that, they straight up teach, you could be, you Edom, Edomites can make it. And they actually have, Edomites in their congregation. So that 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 whole doctrine that they have that they teach is false. So that makes the head of the GOCC a false prophet. He doesn't believe in reincarnation. He believes that there's damnation forever, eternal damnation in hell. Well, IUIC is teaching that now. Like the false prophets of old St. Paul of men who should give heed to seducing spirits. So the followers of these false prophets are men that was seduced and women. Uh, 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 Now the spirit speakers expressly that in the latter, uh, latter times, which is being brought up to date now because what's happening now with all these different groups, uh, it happened back then. Some shall depart from the faith, 100% truth, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Edomites can make it. Reincarnation is not biblical. If you ain't right with the Most High, you're going to burn in hell. You can't have more than one wife. And these all can be disproven in the scriptures. These show the extent of the evil, which was the, the natural outcome of the, of the feverish excitement. That goes into the Zealots. Zealot, the Zealots and the Sakari was getting them riled up because they were actually killing Romans and they were killing Israelites. Toms out there, coons. 
with the Sakari we would do, they would hide a dagger. And if they said, well, this guy, he fought, he kissing the Roman's ass, let's go, let's go, you know, jug him up. It said, these show the extent of the evil, which was the, the natural outcome of the feverish excitement of the people in Josephus uh, was, uh, what is that, 6, 5, subsection 2, if you want to go ahead and read it, we have the rec we have the record of this work of false prophecy. So we know that there's false prophets out there because it said the scriptures say it, prophesy. A more immediate connection with Yahweh and Jerusalem up to the last moment of the capture of the city by Titus. We know that that's 70 AD. Men were um, buoyed up with the with false hopes of deliverance based on the predictions of fanatics and imposters because you had guys that were Christians that went off and they were saying, look, the Lord is coming. Ain't the Lord is just going to let us get, just get killed off like this. And it was our Lord that said, he prophesied, 70 AD. He prophesied America being destroyed. I was I recently started bringing this up. It says the place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. It's not talking about an eternal hell. It's talking about America. It said the fire should not be quenched. You should not be able, be able to put out the fire. The fire will go out in time. So I'm going to say this in closing. Any of you guys that's been looking at the different groups and you found a group that you like and uh, they teach you some doctrine, they teach something that's contrary to the scriptures, you follow it, and you get caught out there, that's on you. Don't get mad at GMS. That's on you. Because I, like I said, when they... You know, we always speak about the, the MOTB because it's right around, right up the block, right at the door. So when it happens, a lot of the motherfuckers going, oh, shit. Oh, shit. In the back of your mind, GMS was right. So there's going to be a lot of scrambling and there's going to be a lot of y'all looking for some oil. You're looking kind of rusty, son. You need some oil. You're going to be looking for that. If you ain't got the oil, you can pretend. You can put take a sign and put some fringes on and call on the name of your Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Dash. If you ain't one of the elect, you ain't one of the prophets, that means you ain't got no oil in you. And you're just, you know, you're just regurgitating what you heard from some other guy on YouTube. But then you're going to be looking for real answers and you're not going to have the answers. You're not going to know what to do. You're going to get caught out there. And a lot of you are going to take that chip knowing that you ain't supposed to take it, knowing that what it is. Anyway, that's all I got to say. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. So we're living in serious times, man. We're, we're living in the times of the last three prophecies to come to pass. Major prophecies. The MOTB is a major, 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 major prophecy. And then you have the destruction and the deliverance. So once the uh, chip is for the, the MOTB prophecy is full, fully fulfilled, when it got the chipping stations, we should be out of, out of here in, a, in, a, in within months. When I say months, could be a month, two months, three months. So we're living in some serious times, man. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.